So I was super excited to meet everyone, get in the building, find the joy in having people around. It's the first day we um, were all at the front door greeting students as they came in, giving high fives and fist bumps and um, just excited for them to be here. And um, I think they were excited, as excited as we were with big smiles on their faces because they hadn't been in the building for a year themselves. But we were able to have an in-person graduation and that was one of the best days of the school year as well. Please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. I hope you were able to spend time with loved ones this summer and do some of the things you hadn't been able to do since before the pandemic began. Many of you, over 14,000 in fact, spent some of the summer learning with us in our summer learning programs. Freedom schools, community education courses, and other programs. We hope your students learned something new, made new friends, and most importantly, had fun. And I said, it's your decision. I'm vaccinated, and he said that he wanted to get vaccinated as well. Going great. We're partnering with St. Paul Ramsey County Public Health to offer the vaccine and the clinics are going really well. This is our second clinic and well attended. Lots of great participation with families and lots of excitement. Imagine a school with a flexible schedule where you can work on projects and subjects that matter to you, all while being taught by teachers who are passionate about online learning. The new SPPS Online School is built for individualization, no matter your interests or schedule. SPPS Online can provide you the flexibility and opportunities to succeed. I'm really glad to be back in person. Meeting new people and meeting new teachers and learning new things. My hopes are to just have a, have a good year overall, friends, academically, you know. I'm just excited for our kiddos to be back in the building and together and building relationships with our, uh, our staff and their friends. In person, first day for St. Paul Public School students and families, I couldn't be more pleased to see their welcoming and uh, just the way that they prepare to make this day really important, memorable for our students. Our students and families following a lot of new protocols for being in person. We have to remember our students haven't been in our classrooms uh, for the most part for the last couple of years. Riding the bus is actually really easy. It's it's a good way of getting to school. I took the transit for the first time to school. Students are walking, biking, getting dropped off, carpooling, and then also a good number of students are taking Metro Transit now. I'm really glad to see that Metro Transit has, has stepped up to partner with SPPS to, to get our students to school. Getting an additional half-time counselor this year, we've been able to really increase um, our ability to work with all students in school. So this year, for the first time, with the addition of the half-time counselor, we've been able to do weekly classroom lessons in every single classroom. So that's been a really wonderful thing to be able to be in the classrooms every week, delivering social, emotional, academic, and college and career-related lessons to all students. I think critical ethnic studies is about exploring identity, both our individual identities and communal identities, our collective identity. Upon joining this class, it's made me like very talkative, it's made me very open because it's, it focuses on so many touchy topics that not many history classes want to talk about. It's a very like great class to be in, to find yourself. I went from one day to uh, a Spanish immersion kindergarten at Riverview to 12th grade at Washington Secondary the very next day um, and a little bit of everything in between. Across the board, every single school that I went to, staff and um, clerks and administrators were welcoming, supportive, grateful that we were there um, and just like went out of their way to be supportive. Impressed by the students of Como Park Senior High School and all of the students in St. Paul, to be honest, because they've gone through a lot in these past couple of years. Um, I just hope they continue to thrive and whatever they choose to do after high school, I want to support that as well.